All right, guys, this is 4.3, part two. Uh, we're covering, we're going to be going or converting to and from bases larger than base 10 to base 10. Uh, there are many systems that are larger than base 10 in use. However, two of the most popular ones are the hexadecimal uh, system and the dozenal place value system. So the dozenal is base 12. The root word is dozen, so think of dozen as 12. Uh, and there's a few people, not a lot, but a few people that want to go to base 12 instead of base 10. Uh, and what's kind of cool is they have a panda as their mascot because pandas have six appendages on, on the base of their foot. So if you add six plus six, you get 12. All right, just so you know. <laughs> but anyways, Dosnal is base 12. So the problem with bases bigger than base 10 is we don't know how to represent something that's a digit. Remember, a digit has to be one value um, greater than 9. So we can't use 10 because 10 is two digits and 11 is two digits. Uh, we definitely... Don't include 12, because remember, 12 to the first would be the next place value up. So how do we represent 10 and 11? That's the question. So what they did was they let 10 equal A and 11 equal B. So that took care of using a 1 instead of a digit, a, a value, a, a letter, uh, to represent 10 and 11. So once again, hexadecimal, we haven't talked about this yet, but hex means 6, but we're talking about hex a. So that means 16. So we have the same problem as we do with the dozenal positional system because we need an, a way to represent 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Remember, we do not include 16 because 16 is actually the next place value up, which is 16 to the first. Okay, so we just are dealing with a ones position. So how do we represent 10? 10, remember, would be A. 11 is B. C is 12. D is 13. E is 14. And F is 15. Uh, so that's how we're going to take care of dealing with 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So let's look at objective one. It says to convert from a base larger than base 10 to base 10. So we're going to convert 39AB base 12 to base 10. All right. So remember, we're going from their system to ours. So we have to multiply. So we're going to have to expand the numbers out. So let's put 3, 9. Remember, A is 10 and B is 11. Okay. So this is base 12. So 11 times 12 to the 0. 10 times 12 to the 1st. 9 times 12 to the 2nd, plus 3 times 12 to the 3rd. So let me just clean this up a little bit, and that's what I got. So when I multiply this stuff out, I get 3 times 12 to the 3rd. 12 to the 3rd is 1,728, plus 9 times 12 to the 2nd. This is going to be 9 times 144 plus 10 times 12, plus 11 times 1. Okay, so if we do the math, that's the math class after all, right? I get 3 times 1,728, that is 5,184, plus 9 times 144 is 1,296, plus... 10 times 12 is 120, plus 11 times 1 is 11. So when I add that together, I get 6,611. So this is my answer. So that's uh, what? 9AB base 12 is equivalent to 6,611. All right, let's move on. So this is the next objective, objective 1. And I just did this problem, so, uh, you know, I'm already done with this. So please look at the previous page. Um, you know, we'll do something fun. Here's a smiley face for you. 
brighten up your day. All right, let's look at the next one. Convert 7DE16 to base 10. So that subscript is 16, so I know I'm dealing with base 16, which is hexadecimal. Uh, so that's one thing that we know for sure. And uh, we're going from their system to ours. Okay, so all you have to do is expand out because we have to multiply. So we have seven, ugh, I don't know what's going on here, some craziness. I'm going to get seven D is equivalent to 13, and E is equivalent to 14, okay? And remember, we're base 16, so 14 times 16 to the zero plus 13 times 16 to the first plus 7. <laughs> My hand keeps on hitting that button. 7 times 16 to the second. So let me just reiterate that. So once again, D was 13. Let me highlight where that's at. And E was 14. So I did 14 times 16 to the 0, 13 times 16 to the first, and 7 times 16 to the second. Okay, now we're ready. So 7, this becomes 7 times 16 squared. 16 squared is 256. Plus 13 times 16 plus 14 times 16 to the 0, which is 1. So 7 times 256 is 1,792 plus 13 times 16 is 208 plus 14 times 1 is 14. And when I add those up, I get 2014. So that is what 7DE base 16 is equivalent to in our system. Okay, now we're going to work on the next objective is going backwards. So uh, when we're going from our system to theirs, we divide. Because remember, that's harder to do. Okay, all right. So, um, you know, you can look at the last section part one to check how to do this, but we're going to have to divide everything. And I'm just going to check to see if I, no, I did not. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and do this, convert 6893 to base 12. So on the side here, I'm going to start figuring out where I need to start by writing down the position. So two, 12 to the 0 is 1. 12 to the 1st is 12. 12 squared is 144. 12 to the third power is 1,728. 12 to the fourth power is 20,736. So I know I'm going to have to start at 12 to the third, and I'm going to have to go through each of the positional values until I get to 12 to the zero. So let's go ahead and get this started. 6,893, I'm going to divide this by 12 to the third, that's where I'm starting, which is 1,728. So when I divide these two on my calculator, I get 3. So 3 times 1,728 is 5,184. Now I'm going to subtract. So when I subtract, I get 1,709. So I'm going to take 1,709 and divide it by 12 to the second power, which is 144. So when I divide that, I get 11. Uh, so 11 times 144 is 1,584. That remainder, which I don't have room for, uh, is 125. So I'm going to go ahead and put 125 here, put the division side. I'm going to drop down to 12 to the first. So I'm going to take 125 divided by 12. Uh, 125 divided by 12 is going to be 10. So 10 times 12 is 120. Subtract, I get a remainder of 5. I have to drop down to the next value system, which is 12 to the 0. 12 to the 0 is 1. So 1 goes into 5, 5 times. Now I'm going to highlight what I got. 3, 11, 10, 5. Okay, so I'm going to write that out. 3, 11, 10, 5. 
Now I can't leave it like this because remember we have special letters that represent the two digit numbers. So I get three, that's okay. 11 is B, 10 is A, and five's okay. All I have to do now is let people know that I'm in base 12, so I do a subscript of 12, and voila, I am done. Okay, so that one's finished. Let's look at the next one. Convert 6,713 to base 16. I'm going from our system to theirs. So remember that's harder, so I'm gonna have to divide. So I have to write out 16 to the zero, that's one. 16 to the first is 16. I'm trying to find that starting place. Uh, 16 to the second is 256. 16 to the third is 4,096. Okay, we're getting closer. Uh, let's just write down 16 to the fourth, which I know is going to be too big, but let's write it out anyways. It's 65,536, too big. Okay, so I found my starting point. I have to start at 16 to the third, and I have to work my way back to 16 to the zero. Okay, so I take 6,713, divide it by 16 to the third, which is 200, oh, sorry, wrong value. It's not 256. It is 4,000. 96. There we go. So 6,713 divided by 4,096, that is going to give me 1. Okay, so 6,713 minus 4,096 is going to give me a remainder of 2,617. So I'm going to take that remainder, 2,617, put it under division side, drop down, to 16 squared, and 16 squared is 256. Okay, so 2,617 divided by 256 goes into it 10 times. So 10 times 256 is 2,560. 2,617 minus 2,516 will give me a remainder of 57. So I take that remainder, stick it under the division side, drop down to 16 to the first. So 16 to the first is 16. Uh, 57 divided by 16 is going to give me a value of 3. So 16 times 3 is 48. 57 minus 48 is 9. I take that remainder, stick it underneath the division sign. I drop down to 16 to the 0. 16 to the 0 is 1. 9 divided by 1 is 9. Okay, so we got down to the 0 position. Now let's write this out. So I have 1. 10, 3, 9. So once again, I can't leave the 1 in there. So one, uh, 10 in uh, hexadecimal is A. The 3 is okay and the 9 is okay, but I have to let people know that I'm in base 16, so I use a subscript of 16. So my answer is 1A39, base 16. Okay, and congratulations, you got through 4.3 completely. So once again, make sure that your notes are filled out completely, upload them to Canvas, and then you'll get credit for it. If it's all filled out correctly. Um, go ahead and, and after you're done, do your homework to cement in what we just learned. All right, thanks. And uh, the next section is 4.5.